Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be doing my 100 subscriber special, which will be a room tour, because I did a poll on my channel like a couple weeks ago, and I was asking what people wanted me to do for my 100 subscriber special, and most of you voted room tour, like 90%, so yeah, we're gonna do a room tour. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing like a video about a set or mock that you see in this room tour, I'll have cards pop up so you can click on that, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, when you enter the room, the first LEGO set you will see is this Jurassic Park LEGO diorama set. I got this set a while ago, and I really do like Jurassic Park, so it's probably one of my favorite sets. As you can see, I kind of customed it by adding like a LEGO skeleton in the mouth of the T-Rex. I really like that, but I have not made a review for this set yet, but one will be coming soon. Beneath this set, I have two other things. They are both not LEGO, but the first one here is this wooden dinosaur thing. This is kind of like the dinosaur area, even though I'm not like a huge fan of dinosaurs. For some reason, I have two here. This is like a wooden dinosaur thing. It's like made out of those like wooden blocks. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to roar when you clap your hands, but it's kind of broken, so it's just stuck in this mid-roaring position, which is kind of weird. But I still do like it. And over here, I have this light-up globe. And then beneath that, I have the slave on, oh, I mean, Boba Fett's starship. This is like my second video, I think, that I reviewed this set, but it does make a really nice display piece. Next to this, I have like one of those light-up lamp things. It's not plugged in right now, but... If you plug it in, it does this like weird thing. I'll have a picture of it on screen. And beneath that, I have some speakers that don't really work. They're just there for design. Moving on from this section of the room, there is a whiteboard up there. That's not Lego though. And then over here, I have these three shelf things. These are actually custom made by my neighbor because I couldn't find any shelves that like fit the proportions I wanted. So what I wanted was to have like shelves that fit these three cars here. Or really just the Aston Martin, which is my first one. I haven't reviewed this set yet, but when I do, there will be a card that pops up on the screen. And then I also have, like, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger here. I did review this, like, a couple of weeks ago. And then down here, I have, like, one of these Speed Champions cards. I don't know what the set's called, but it doesn't fit the scale of the other three. So I will get, like, another one of these scaled cars. I think the Fast and the Furious one. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll probably get that. Beneath these things, we do have my bed. That's not Lego, so no one will care. Next to that, we have my desk, which has a lamp and this clock that is very inaccurate. It is not 7.53 right now. It's more like 10. And then beneath that, I have the Hogwarts Express Hogsmeade Station. And over here, I have the Hogwarts Express, which we'll get to eventually. But I thought this fit really nicely in this area here. It's like the only thing that could really fit in there that you could still see from afar. And I have some minifigures on the station here. And then beneath that, I have like this foggy glass thing that has a little lamp in it just to illuminate it. I could store stuff in there, but I kind of like the effect it makes. And then there's just some slippers. Oh yeah, and an Xbox 360 under the bed. Moving up from the desk side table, we have the Hoth mock at the top of my bookcase. This I think was like the first mock I made on this channel. And I think it fits really well up there. I also added like an X-Wing at the top just because I didn't have a place for it. But yeah, if you want to see that video, I'll have a card pop up. Then beneath that, we have all my books, which I color organized for some reason. I don't know, I thought it just looked better than them all being like, randomly inserted there and just looking like a mess and then i have like some other things on the shelf i have this like remote control at at which isn't lego but it's still star wars so people will probably like it and then i have like a pokeball over here and then here's my fish tank say hi to my fish yeah he's super cool he's so excited to be on camera and then next to that i have these two narnia book sets that have two little like small lego design things they're not lego I just call them small Legos. They're like the nano block things. I know it's kind of like traitorous to do non Legos, but they are super cool. And Lego doesn't make Pokemon, so they do fit really well there. And then beneath that, I have a bunch of other books. And I have the Hogwarts Express here, which is like, I think came out a little while ago. I should review this set. And I think it fits really well in this area. And then beneath that, we have more books. Moving next to that, we have the main display. So this is something I've never showed on my channel before, and that is I really do like Harry Potter, and I have, like, the whole Hogwarts castle with the green roofs. This is, like, uh, they started making these sets a couple years ago after they made, like, the gray roof ones, and I was not old enough to get those ones, like, and then these released, like, later, and I was able to get these ones, and I think they look super cool. I've done a bunch of, like, edits to them myself, like, I have, like, the car up there from the Perfect Drive set, I have, like, some boats and, like, a bridge. Then over here, I added, like, some extra details in the front. But yeah, I really do like these. It was super fun to, like, work on them and make them the way I wanted. And I think it looks super cool. Moving on to the bottom part beneath the castle. The castle is up here, and then beneath that, I have these four cubes. I have the Marvel cube, and this has two sets in it. It has the Iron Man Hall of Armor, which is that thing in the back there with a bunch of suits in it. 
and it has the War Machine mech, which is another set that came out that isn't from any movie. It just, I don't actually know why I bought that, but I think it fits well in this scene. It's like the Marvel Cube. You can see there's like a war going on here, and there's Spider-Man putting out a fire. I don't know why. I just had a spare Spider-Man minifigure, so that's why that's happening. And then over to the right here, we have the Ministry of Magic. This is a more recent set. I think I just bought this, and I was actually surprised I was able to get it to fit in this because when I got it, it was a lot taller than I expected it to be. And I had to like take off the top part. I know it doesn't look like anything's missing, but I think there's like a piece up there that I had to take off to get it to fit. And I think it fits the space really well. And then next to that, we have my Endor mock. This I actually created like a month ago and I made a short about it. And I really, I made it to like go in this cube because I didn't have anything to go here. And I think it looks pretty good. It's just the one problem I have with it is it's the only one of these four that have a base plate. So it like kind of comes off the end a little bit. But yeah, it can be kind of annoying, but I do like the mock, so that's why it's here. And then over to the right, we have the Burrow, which is another Harry Potter set. Harry Potter's kind of dominating this display area right here. I know, Lego Star Wars is probably better, but I do have a lot more Harry Potter sets, it seems like, so that's why there's so many in this area. And this I got a while ago. I thought it looked super cool, and I have like a battle going on in the front. Beneath this, we probably have a space you'll recognize, and that is my recording space. So this is the desk I use to record all my videos. As you can see, there's the two speakers that sometimes like make an appearance in the videos that I record. This one has like an R2-D2 light up thing on the top. This one has like a globe that's supposed to like fit in the middle of those magnet things and kind of float, but it doesn't work because I can't find the power cord, so it just kind of sticks to the top. I should probably change that out. That doesn't really fit the theme of my room. But anyway, in the middle of the desk, we have the Star Destroyer mock that I made like a couple months ago. I really do like this mock, and I think it fits really well in this space. I could also put the Tatooine mock in there, but... I kind of like need to move it really easily and I think the Star Destroyer is easier to move when I record. Next to this we have my cat's bed. I got this cat bed for her in my room because right next to that I have my couch so she can kind of like sit next to me. And then on the floor here I have a bunch of upcoming video plans. Don't look at that, that's secret. Yeah. Anyway, yeah that's my upcoming video plans. I just keep them out there so I don't forget about them. And then over here I have some more shelves and on the top here I have like a Lego Ocelot in between some books. It's kind of nice, just like a book holder. Then beneath that, I have like a TIE Fighter mid-flight. I did review this set a while ago, and it has like a little stand I made for it. And then over here, I have like a Deathly Hallows light-up thing. I think it fits there really nicely. And then beneath that, I have the Pyramid of Giza, which is from my 50 subscriber special. Nice for that to make an appearance. And then beneath that, I have a drawer. And this drawer is actually filled with, I think, Lego base plates. Yeah, ones that like don't fit very well. Like I have this mountain one that I don't know where to put. Moving over here, we have my couch, which is not Lego. I wish it was Lego. That'd be super cool. Imagine having a Lego couch. Actually, that'd be really uncomfortable. I don't know why you'd want a Lego couch. I guess just to show off. Huh. Anyway, next to that, I have my lamp. This is a nice lamp. I think I bought this at a rummage sale a while ago. I just thought it would fit the theme. It is pretty bright. It illuminates this whole space. And this is the Lego corner. So this is where I keep all my spare bricks. Like These are all filled with bricks. Here, I'll show you. This one's pretty empty because of the Hawk Mock. I used up most of these white pieces. And then I have like the rest of them up here. There's like yellow, green. I have them sorted by color. There's like red, dark gray over here. And then over here I have this Hogsmeade display, which I, I do like Harry Potter, if you couldn't tell. So I have a lot of Harry Potter sets. And this is like the winter village of my room, basically. And then beneath that I have the Indiana Jones set that I reviewed like probably a couple months ago. I have another Indiana Jones set that's like the fighter plane. I could put that here, but I really like this one better. I just feel like it fits the space. And then next to that, I have Privet Drive, which I actually added like a custom driveway and like a kind of front yard with a mud pit. You know, like the Dursleys and Harry Potter are out there. And I also used a car from the fighter plane chase set here because I don't have a second Ford Anglia and I thought it kind of fit the scene. So I really do like this display here. More Harry Potter, I know. And then beneath that, I have two drawers. I think these, I don't know what's in these drawers. I haven't checked in a while. Oh, this is hex bug stuff, not Lego. And this is empty. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is kind of like my building corner. Moving on from this, we have two bulletin boards, which just kind of have some keepsakes on it. We have my clock. It's not Lego, but it's a clock. So, and I guess it's in my room, so I'm showing you the clock. And beneath that, I have this fireplace thing with like a picture frame on top. That's not Lego either. And then over here I have a speaker, a garbage can, none of which is Lego, but yeah. So we've made a round around the complete room. So this is the whole thing. 
I think it's super cool. It took me a long time to actually do all this because I recently remodeled my room to like give it the brown walls and like the gray ceiling. It used to be yellow, which I didn't like at all. Like yellow, it's kind of a weird color for a room, but I really like all the stuff I've done to it and I think it's super cool. So there you have it guys, that's my Lego room tour. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for 100 subscribers.